All right, guys, so here is the news. Good news, I would argue. CBOE exchange withdraws proposal for Vanex Solidex Bitcoin ETF. So you would ask me why it is good. I will, I will tell you what, what is my opinion on that. Well, first of all, you know that the decision on Bitcoin ETF should be made by SEC in uh, Febru on February th 27th. And there should be the final decision they should have been the final decision, uh, either um, accepting Bitcoin ETF or denying it. So, and currently we also have the uh, United States government shut down, so SEC doesn't work in the full power. And the thing is, um, <clears throat> we th there are like a lot of speculation about the fact that if SEC will not be able to make a decision because of this condition before February 27th, then there is a law which um, would make the decision on ETF um, automatically um, positive. So the ETF will be accepted if there is no decision made. So, and on the other hand, there are a lot of things, a lot, a lot of opinions, like, like a lot of logic behind the thinking that first uh, the uh, decision is probably negative. Second is that even if they would accept it b because of this um, sort of um, condition of the shutdown of the government and so on and so forth, then it is very, very likely that eventually um, SEC will just delist ETF when they will work in the full, full speed. And the, uh, another thing is that uh, when um, when CBOE was waiting for the approval probably in December, this is the, the solution in December, uh, and they finally, the SEC finally said that, okay, we are postponing it until February 27th. I was making, making a video like uh, what would be the, the, the decision of SEC in February. And what I'm, I was saying that, you know, guys, we are, um, it would be sort of elegant Salute decision or or solution of for this issue for this problem, if the like a third way not accepting not declining of the ETF but some third way will be made, but I didn't see the way to do that. But now there is such a way happened. CBOE by themselves they actually um, withdrawn it, and now first we don't have the. Um, way the sort of the threat from the denial of ETF, which would be catastrophic probably for the price. And the second thing that we still have a chance it to be accepting accepted in the future. So there is no um, uh, refusal. There's no uh, denying of ETF uh, accept of ETF proposal um, as a fact. And also um, the guy for which is making this. Uh, um, working this, uh, what it is, the, the CBOE uh, Vanex Solidex proposal team um, for the Bitcoin ETF. He tweeted that Gabor Gurbax, Gurbax uh, he tweeted uh, Bitcoin ETF filling has been temporarily withdrawn. So temporarily, guys, we're actively working with regulators and major market participants to build appropriate market structure frameworks for Bitcoin ETF and global assets in general will keep you updated. Basically, what it means that, you know, now it's not the greatest environment to uh, run the um, this proposal and probably will be it will be rejected. So. Um, we need to take a step back, but we are not, we didn't give up and it will be done eventually, guys. Just be patient. That's it, in my opinion, what they said. And interesting thing that now, while we are, uh, we were expecting some, at least some negative uh, impact on the price from this event, from this news, basically what we had is just the candle from uh, 3580 uh, 3, to maybe 3530 which is laughable and we actually have a pullback already pretty much nice volume so what i'm saying is that if this would be treated as a really negative uh, event then we'll have a massive drop we di it didn't happen so i would be very um it would be very unlikely that we'll continue to fall in because of that. We, we may still drop because of the general trends and so on, but 
if it didn't happen then I wouldn't go short because of this news and there's already like some of the uh, news happened uh, appeared about the sort of negative sentiment in uh, for the Bitcoin like in Davos they saw some some guy said Bitcoin will go to zero well, a huge guy um, so and there are actually if you look uh, the, the, the watch the whole video or at least the part of the video uh, on CNBC of this interview yeah they they are using the argument about the environment issues the um, the fact that mining is making the pollution so I could spend a lot of energy and so on which is which was beaten several times ago uh, before and um, uh, they may uh, even use something like uh, you know Bitcoin is used for financing terrorism or buying drugs so those things are or, or dropped so much so it doesn't uh, serve the, ser uh, the store value purpose which all of those arguments are like irrelevant and they are not um, they can't hold the contra arguments so in my opinion we, sh we shall not really take it as some kind of um, premise to the price events negative price events in future so we are in a very nice shape in my opinion and moreover um, yesterday I was watching a lot looking at the lot of the altcoins um, watching the indicators and volumes and everything so what I found is that interestingly if again if you look uh, at the total capitalization of altcoins and uh, continue to um, track the behavior of 2000 uh, sorry 200 um, weeks moving average so we are still above that moving average and we are closing to the the pivotal point so we are still in a good shape um, another thing is if we will look at many altcoins starting from ethereum xrp ada and so on they are all like showing um, some pullback from the maximum but still we're holding we are even testing some new highs and there is a high chance that um, has so strong some strong levels there's a high chance that we are about to make a new move moreover if you watch at if you look at the other altcoins like for example tron on the on the positive news with the uh, BitTorrent token uh, distribution it makes n such a rally and nice volume and so on and there are other altcoins which are completely look look uh, which look completely insane like um, just a few examples nano if you look at the price it's pretty much flat rsi bullish divergence so now it started to play out but not that much still so uh, one can expect uh, a lot of the rise in price um, another one is for example npxs again if well, better to look through uh, via the dollar by the uh, what are, what are the dollar so f calculated by binance so you see the price in dollar was declining from basically middle of November and we have the RSI rising all that time and now we see the huge volume spikes on the, especially on the rises and not so much spikes on the corrections period so meaning that we will have we, we should have uh, the rise eventually especially on the event of the distribution of uh, FX token tokens uh, from PandyX and you can look at other altcoins like VeChain pretty much the same relatively flat price RSI was rising um, and now we see the, the the breakout right one chain completely insane decrease in price RSI was constantly increasing with the uh, rise in, in the um, volume at the spikes of, big, of of the price of the coin Walton chain pretty much the same the price slightly increases but the RSI is just shooting up and so on and so forth moreover if you look if you if you look at the Bitcoin price it's Bitcoin chart itself you would see that starting from uh, middle of November we were continuing continuing well, not before actually too but we can make this this sort of channel from middle of November and excluding this drop which was which may seem to be a bit abnormal but still we are declining in price and what you see with RSI it is rising 
right and in fact when we've been here when we broke this channel and at approached the uh, this RSI trend line just tested it we after that we rose from 3150 to 4220 and now we are just again the same place we are about to rise by this indicator moreover a lot of the analysts analysts are easier but much more reasonable to go up right now than to go down so i'm continuing to state on my um, position that the price will go higher so i'm long and not short uh, bitcoin and um, yeah that's that's the point uh, so of course not a financial advice so please make your uh, decision on your own so far of course we can make drop uh, a drop but i will look at this uh, trend line first of all second this um, channel and also the um, 200 days moving averages of average which is a bit higher than 3200 maybe 3250 uh, 3, now let me turn it on uh, okay, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait a second. I just tur turn it off. <clears throat> and we're talking not about a daily though. That's my bad. We're talking about the uh, weekly. So weekly is still um, still here. So it's actually close to 3,300 on Coinbase. So as soon as we are not uh, going be below that, I don't think there's there is a reason to panic. And in fact, um, we even not lower the previous low around here. So again, well, around here, actually, this is the, the most recent one. So again, we can drop, but I wouldn't be consider I wouldn't consider it to be happening as soon as we will not have a, have a strong selling pressure and we don't have it. We moreover, we see quite of the um, bull, um, bull bullish price action, in my opinion. Okay, guys, that's it for today update. Hope to see you tomorrow the next one and thank you for watching.